Hello everyone, this is Sarah from smallbusinesssarah.com and today we're going to discuss how you can undo or edit within QuickBooks. We're talking more about the categorizing of transactions in this video. If you find videos like this helpful, be sure to subscribe. I also have some great analyzing of financial statements videos coming up that I really think will be helpful as you're trying to grow your business and your income. So let's talk about ways we can undo or edit what we've done if we have made a mistake. So we're in our sample company. We're going to go to banking over here. So the easiest way going to switch to the credit card right now. The easiest way to undo something, especially if it just happened, is to go to the In QuickBooks tab. And then we simply hit Undo. And that will bring the transaction back over to the For Review side. Actually, let me do a more recent transaction so you can see that in, in action. So we'll just do this one. We're going to go ahead and add that. And then maybe we realize, oops, we don't want to add that one or we categorized it incorrectly. So we're going to go ahead and hit undo. And then it pops back over here in the for review tab. Okay. Um, another thing to do, let's go ahead and add this again. Go back to in QuickBooks. Another thing you can do if you just need to change the account is simply to click on it. And then you can change the category that you selected and change it to something different on this screen. So we'll go ahead and save and close that. Um, and you can also search obviously down the list for any revenues or expenses that you need to find and maybe undo and edit. So this undo button, if you've already categorized something in the In QuickBooks tab, that's one of the easiest things to do. Another thing you can do is go to the register. I use the registers all the time, especially when I'm trying to balance my checking account or credit card when I'm trying to reconcile. Um, the reason why I use the register is because it contains a running balance, so then this is helpful in comparison purposes to the bank statement or the credit card. So over here, you can click on anything. We'll use this one again. And you can change the category right here. So if it's a change in category issue. And we'll go ahead and hit save then. Yes, we want to edit that. Okay, so then we have changed that. Um, you can delete on this screen, but usually when you delete from this screen, it completely deletes it from the feed. So it's as if the transaction never happened. So I only really delete from here if something is in duplicate. And I had just seen what I thought was a duplicate transaction. So right here, um, if I was balancing my credit card and I was off by a little bit, I would take a look at these. These look like they could be duplicate transactions. And one is probably an error. If that's correct, then I would go ahead and just hit delete. And there you go. So the register is another way that you can edit and change your transactions. You can switch between accounts up here, different between your bank accounts and your credit card accounts um, on the register to make any changes that you would like to make. Okay, so that's the second way. Um, another way that you can change and edit is to go over here to the expenses tab. Now, if you have been doing a very good job of adding your vendors on the banking tab, let me show you that. This is the main reason for adding vendors in my mind. Um, so right here you'll see in the payee column there is Amazon. But for others there's not. So let's go ahead and add a vendor. Because if we don't add the vendor, we can't use the handy vendor report. So I'm going to go ahead and add this one. 
Okay, let's go back over here to expenses. You'll see the one we just added now appears here. And if I wanted to change, I could hit view edit over here or I can change it right here. So let's change it to an online tool. Or we could just do this as well. Bring it up this way. You'll see the change has already been made. Save and close. Let's go back to our vendors. You can also see a whole list of vendor transactions, like so if there's more than one. You can also edit in a batch fashion, categorize selected, and choose which category you would like them categorized to. And it'll make that change, okay? So another way over here on the expenses, that was the vendor side by vendor. But if you don't do the vendor on the bank feed screen, you're, it's not going to appear here. However, the expenses will appear here. So if you go up to expenses, it'll give you a list of expenses in date order. I, I use this tab. This is the method I probably use the least to edit or delete or undo. Um, you can just simply come over here and change an expense like that. Um, because this is just expenses and there's other ways I can get there, basically the register is what I would use before here, but this could be helpful. You can also hit the view edit button if you need to change anything else. Um, that's an option as well. Last but not least for changing, editing, undoing is the reports section. So let's go ahead and run in profit and loss. I'm going to change the dates to last year. I'm going to run my report. And let's see. A lot of this is just fake journal entries I created for this sample account. So I have to find something that actually has some information in it. Um, so we're going to click on this office supplies. If that number seems way out of control, go ahead and click office supplies. And you can see the transactions that make up that balance um, right here. And if you want to change any of those transactions, you can simply click anywhere along here or the amount. That will bring up the transaction and you can make your change right here. We're going to move it to online tools, save and close. Now when we come here, we don't see that other Walmart transaction. That has been moved. And if I go back to the report summary, and let's see if I can find online tools. Maybe it was a different one. I was, um, must have been a different online tools then. Because I have different online tools. Let's try this one. There we go. We moved it to right here. And if I don't like that, I could move it back. So really easy. So I use the report changing feature. At the end of the month when I'm done with my bookkeeping, I always run my profit and loss and run my balance sheet. And I look for things that don't make sense. And if I find something that doesn't make sense, I can just drill down and see what transactions comprise that. And maybe I did make an error and I can make the adjustment right here. So let's re review very quickly. You can undo and edit on the banking tab by going to in QuickBooks and anything you have added that you don't like, you can undo right here. You can change the category right there. You can go to the register and change the transactions right here by simply changing here or clicking edit. You can come over to expenses, change the expense categories right here, pull up the vendor list right here and change any of those transactions, sometimes changing them as one big batch. And then, oops, I did not mean to do that. 
And last but not least, we can run a report, profit and loss or balance sheet, and change our transactions on there. So I hope you found this helpful. Everyone makes mistakes sometimes or changes their mind on how they want things categorized, but these are the ways that you can undo or edit what you have already done within QuickBooks. I'm using QuickBooks Online, which is what I recommend for business owners to use. I'll have links below to any applicable information. And like I said, I've got some great videos coming up on how to read your profit and loss and kind of how to make better financial decisions for your business. So be sure to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of those future videos. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.